Close your eyes and watch your breath. And watch what you're doing as you stay with the breath. Keep track over the mind as well. Otherwise it's going to go slipping out after other things. And it forgets that the things outside are not nearly as important as what it's doing. As you're staying with the breath, you're training the mind in good qualities. You're training in alertness, you're training it in mindfulness. And those are the qualities that you would then apply to your own life as you go through the day. When you say something, when you do something, when you think something, you want to be alert to what you're doing and mindful about what you should and shouldn't be doing. Because you have to remember that your actions are your most important possession. What other people do, that's what other people do. Those are their possessions. Even though they may say all kinds of nasty things about you, that's their karma. They may do nasty things to you, well that's their karma. It's what you do, that's your karma, and that's your possession. And John Sawat used to like to note that the Buddha would say, aggregates are not self, all kinds of things are not self, but when you get to karma, he says, the karma is our own. We are the owners of our karma, owners of our actions. Because what we do will shape our lives, and the, the way the shape we give to our lives is going to go on not just in this lifetime, but also lifetimes after this. So you want to make sure you're giving in a good shape, because that's what you're going to be stuck with. It's not too bad being stuck with good karma, as the Buddha said. That follows you like a shadow. A shadow is light, doesn't, have, doesn't place any weight on you, doesn't place any weight on the earth. Whereas if you do bad karma, it follows you like a, like a cart. Because the cart is heavy and it, its tracks erase whatever good tracks you're trying to create. So make sure that you focus on what you're doing, what other people are doing. We spend so much time looking at the internet, so much time looking at TV, radio, listening to the radio, getting full of information about the world outside. We don't have much information about our own minds, though. You know, what people do outside, that's just the passing show. What you do right now, that's your main concern. Because if everyone were responsible for their actions, like when we take the precepts, if everybody followed the precepts, the world would be a much better place. It doesn't take too much. All it takes is each person to look after his or her own actions. But you can't wait for other people to start. You have to start with yourself. Because when things come down to the final, final tally, okay, what you do is your, is your possession. And so as you're carrying possessions around, what do you have in your, in your bags? Open up your bags and look what you've got. Good actions or bad actions? The good actions are light. In fact, they, it's almost like they turn the bags into balloons. They just fall around without any, without any weight. It's the bad actions that weigh you down. So make sure that you've got your priorities straight, that you focus on what really is your business. And as for the business of the world, just let it go. That business is their business. Your business is yours. And one of the main reasons why everything is so confused in the world is that people aren't looking after their own business and they try to straighten everybody else's business out. Each of us has to turn and look back at ourselves. That's where peace and well-being and a good life will start.